Influencers attempt to break into Area 51. What happened next is incredible. My intention and that of my team was to infiltrate the high-security military zone we all know as Area 51. After the exclusive accounts we'd found from several witnesses, my editor was convinced and my team was prepared to go on this dangerous mission. I had worked with my camera and technical crew during our coverage of Gaza and the disturbances in Venezuela, but nothing had struck fear in our hearts as much as the idea of snooping around Area 51. Many had been those who in a suspicious manner succumbed to death, sometimes tragic, for declaring or revealing secrets about the facilities. Those who were behind it always tried to make everything look like an accident and then in a subtle way to relegate the memories of these people to silence or discrediting. According to the US government itself, Area 51 is a military facility used to test and design military-grade airplanes, jets, and helicopters. However, many more stories than facts are known about this mysterious place, located 83 kilometers from Las Vegas in the state of Nevada. Area 51 is claimed to be an airbase like any other. However, in 1989, when Robert Bob Lazar came forward with allegations of extraterrestrial activity at the base, the world stopped. Bob claimed that the US military was using alien engineering to manufacture new weapons of mass destruction. On the other hand, he detailed accounts of alien autopsies and accidents involving spacecraft crashing to Earth. Now, I and my team decided to enter the secret military zone with the intention of corroborating or discrediting everything that has been claimed for years about this place. The night before the raid, I was really nervous. I could feel the same sensation among my team members. Despite this, we knew that there was no more capable group to carry out this dangerous task. The team consisted of Mira, our technician, and Neem, our cameraman. We were also fortunate to have James, our trained guide, whose job it was to make sure we got out alive. On the other hand, we had to take Lauren Phillips and Luis Sassanto with us. Both were new Instagram personalities of the moment. One was a top stylist and the other a makeup guru. This way, we were able to secure the $250,000 in funding for the tactical team. The time had come to get answers and reveal to the world what was really going on in there. We'd been planning the raid for weeks and now we were there. We were waiting for James's signal to start the operation. We knew there would be victims, what we didn't know was how many. Morning would light everything up and we'd count the bodies. A beam of light suddenly came from the west side of the base. Miro was the first to ask what's that. James gave us a dramatic look before saying it's our signal. He led the way through the quiet and still night. His cousin, who was a sergeant or lieutenant in the Air Force, would help us get in. We climbed a small hill before reaching a manhole he'd left open. My heart started pounding a mile a minute. I made eye contact with Mira and noticed that she shared my distress. Nonetheless, we plucked up our courage and entered. The smell emanating from the substances at our feet was putrid. After only a mile, I began to retch. We're almost there, Lauren said, walking past me. I could almost feel that we'd have the truth shortly, but the truth was that nothing could prepare us for what was to come. A little further ahead, I could distinguish the gleam of three pairs of eyes looking at me. I distracted those creatures, which I didn't distinguish, in the middle of their feast. I stopped dead in my tracks, which caused the two behind me to trip over my back. I then lost my balance and slid face first into the dirt. My face was just a few feet away from the unknown beings. I could see the beast salivating, propping up on furry paws before James stepped forward and yanked me up. I regained my balance in time to follow James' instructions, still pulling me up. This way, we turned a corner and hesitated at the uncertainty of each step. Our group of eight had been joined by a couple of those beings now running after us. On one side of the dirty sewer, I could see two staircases leading to double doors. I immediately climbed up one of them with three of my companions while the others continued running in the tunnel. In a small matter of seconds, we crowded in front of the small doors we desperately knocked on. To our surprise, both opened almost immediately. We then fell into a white room in front of six hazmat suits made into a pile. Get up, someone said in one of the suits in a deep voice. Without protest, we got up and followed them down sterile corridors of fluorescent lights. Our footwear squeaked on the tiled floor muddy with sewage. We passed through a considerable number of double doors until we came to another long corridor that ascended as it grew narrower and narrower. When the door at the end opened, we couldn't believe our eyes. We walked out into a huge room like a warehouse with music booming to the rafters. There were twinkling lights in an illuminated pool. I couldn't see the other end of the place. We came to a balcony that led down some stairs to a still lower level. The whole place was filled with a strange glowing neon light with no apparent source. We were already walking on the last step when we saw it. In front of us, about 1 meter 70 tall, we were face to face with our first alien. I was speechless, I couldn't believe it. 
He looked at me for a moment and took me by the hand and led me somewhere. When my sight adapted and I could see better, I felt strange. I was surrounded by a large number of beings that didn't fit the human physiognomy. Some had tentacles and scaly looking skins. We then arrived at the bar of a pub. I took a seat and looked around for a familiar face. I saw Mira. She was lying on the bar and looked like she was being given some kind of heavenly examination, but for some reason she seemed to enjoy it. I was blushing as I turned to look at the blue alien who led me there. I felt uncomfortable and didn't know what to do next. Then I asked, can you understand me? I could feel a yes through my skin. Has this always been here? And again, telepathically he replied, of course it has. This is the largest spaceport on your planet. I was surprised. The biggest known secret was an alien tourist attraction. After some thought, I reconsidered. I guess we all like a little bit of Las Vegas.